Welcome to Kessel University. Today's course features the A80 Tuna Blue. Before we begin this video, please take a moment to vote for which product or technology you'd like to see featured in our next video. The affordable and efficient Kessel A80 Tuna Blue is one of our most popular lights. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the A80 Tuna Blue, learning about what's included in the box, the applications of the light, all the different features, the external controls, compatible accessories, basic maintenance, and troubleshooting. To jump directly to any of these sections, use the links provided in the description. If you've already watched the feature for the A360WE Tuna Blue, much of the content in this video will overlap, so feel free to skip over any subjects that you're already comfortable with. First, let's break down the name A80 Tuna Blue. The A means that this light is designed specifically for aquariums. 80 means that the A80 Tuna Blue has one quarter of the light output of the A360 and one half the light output of the A160, even though it uses just 15 watts of power to produce this output. In fact, the A80 is Kessel's most efficient aquarium light. Finally, Tuna Blue is a combination of two words, tunability and blue. Blue for the color range of light that is best for promoting coral health, and tunability for the user's ability to tune this light to meet specific color preferences. In addition, the side of the box shows us the features which make the A80 Tuna Blue one of the best aquarium lights on the market. Daikon's Dense Matrix LED Array, Kessel Logic, Unrivaled Optics, and Advanced Controllability. The A80 Tuna Blue also features a unique, fanless cooling system. And as with all other Kessel lights, the A80 is UL certified, the highest standard of safety and compliance in the United States. We'll briefly cover each of these features and more later on in this video. Now, let's see what comes in the box. The A80 Tuna Blue includes the following components. The light unit features Daikon's Dense Matrix LED Array and Kessel Logic technology in our smallest, most lightweight design. The A80 is 5 inches wide and just 1 inch tall and weighs less than one pound. The mounting adapter, which is two inches wide, one and three quarter inches tall, and one and one half inches long, allows you to install the A80 directly to a canopy or other overhanging surface. The DC power supply, which is five feet long, connects the A80 to a power source. Combined with the power cord on the light, which is two feet, nine inches long, the total cable length is approximately seven feet, nine inches. The screws and corresponding threads that attach the mounting adapter to the A80 Tuna Blue are Phillips size M3 by 5 mm. The 5 mm refers to the length of the thread only, not including the head. These are the recommended screw sizes for this fixture, so be careful using anything longer than what comes in the box, as it could cause damage to the light. The opening that the control cables run through is 1 and 1 quarter inch by 1 and 1 quarter inch and the wood screws that attach the mounting adapter to the canopy or other surface are Phillips size M4 by 16 millimeters. The slats run for almost the full length of the adapter, allowing one inch of room for the A80 to slide back or forth based on specific mounting requirements. When mounted to an overhanging surface, the distance between the canopy and the bottom of the A80 Tuna Blue is two and one quarter inches. The A80 Tuna Blue can be applied to the following recommended setups. Mixed reef tanks of up to 14 inches tall, 14 inches wide, and a depth of 12 inches, with the A80 mounted 4 inches above the water level. Soft coral tanks with some LPS of up to 20 inches tall, 20 inches wide, and a depth of 15 inches, with the A80 mounted 6 inches above the water level. Soft coral or fish only tanks of up to 24 inches tall, 24 inches wide, and a depth of 24 inches, with the A80 mounted 8 inches above the water level. You can use the A80 for deeper tanks, but we don't recommend having any photosynthetic organisms below the depth provided for each corresponding setup. The A80 Tuna Blue can also be installed into all-in-one aquariums with a built-in wood or plastic canopy. In this case, because the light will be very close to the water surface, you may need additional fixtures for ideal coverage. In a setup like this, the multiple A80 Tuna Blue units and close proximity to the surface will result in far better performance than you'd get with the stock LEDs that come with these tanks. 
The A80 Tuna Blue has a number of cutting-edge features which work in unison to provide beautiful, healthy light in an efficient manner. In this section, we'll cover the basic ideas behind these features. The A80 is our most low-profile light. Its ultra-compact design and innovative, fanless heat dissipation allows for a low-maintenance, silent light, which can be used for a variety of different aquarium setups. Its elegant design was inspired by the Lion's Paw Seashell. If you've already watched the A360 WE Tuna Blue video, most of the content and information in the Features section and the subsequent Controls section is repeated here in the A80 Tuna Blue video. If you feel like you have a good grasp on these concepts, feel free to skip ahead to accessories. Like any good LED light, everything starts with one element, the LED chip. LED stands for Light Emitting Diode. Kessel, being a brand of Daikon fiber optics, is one of the only companies that manufactures its own LED chips in-house with the applications of the relevant technology in mind. Many consumer grade LED chips are bound by epoxy to a standard printed circuit board. This design has its limitations. Namely, epoxy does not dissipate heat well. These thermal restrictions inhibit standard LED light output and performance. Kessel generally manufactures metallized LED chips. Metallized LED chips that are bonded to an MCB or metallized circuit board allow for higher thermal efficiency. This is similar to how high-end CPU and GPUs in computers are made. Kessel LED chips are one of a kind, from the unique surface treatment to the patented carrier. No other company uses LED chips like these for aquarium lights. Some high-end aquarium brands use LED chip bonding that falls somewhere in between these two. More advanced than epoxy, but never at the same standard as Kessel manufactured LEDs. If you would like to learn more about Kessel's LED chip technology, check out our LED chip video. The LED chips are the foundation for Daikon's Dense Matrix LED array. These chips, which are arranged in an area about the size of a dime under a single lens, generate all the necessary colors across the visible spectrum along with UV light. The Dense Matrix array can be easily optimized for wide, narrow, deep, or shallow coverage. And this light is almost entirely uniformly distributed because it is coming from a simulated point source. Simply put, the Dense Matrix LED array offers more control over the emitted light than ever before. As you'll see shortly, more control means better results. If you want to learn more about Daikon's Dense Matrix LED Array, please refer to the Dense Matrix Array video. As we just said, the Dense Matrix LED Array gives more control over the emitted light. Perhaps the most amazing product of this in Kessel Aquarium Lights is the one-of-a-kind shimmer. The light from Kessel products, coming from a single, dense source, interacts with the surface agitation in an aquarium, much like how the sun, also a single source, interacts with waves on the ocean. Standard LED lights, with many sources, struggle to achieve the same look, as each different light source interacts independently with the water surface. This is called the disco ball effect. The result in Kessel lights is a uniform, natural shimmer, just like you'd find in coral reefs in the ocean. For more information, check out our video explaining how we achieve our unique, one-of-a-kind shimmer. In addition to providing a beautiful, natural shimmer, the Dense Matrix LED Array is also behind Kessel's unique color mixing. Utilizing such a compact source allows for a more comprehensive management of the light that is produced. First, imagine a standard LED light which has many LEDs spread out over a wide area, each emitting a specific color. Each spectrum is never truly integrated. There are some ways to address this issue, such as using a diffuser, but, in addition to limiting the amount of light, diffusers are also only capable of reducing the intensity of the disco ball effect, not necessarily the pattern of the light itself. In Kessel lights, every spectrum is blended before leaving the light. Once again, this is possible because every LED chip is consolidated into one compact dense matrix array. The result is uniform light across the board that has the natural appearance of sunlight in rivers, lakes, or oceans. Like we said earlier, more control over the emitted light means better results. If you want to learn more about Kessel's color mixing, take a look at our color mixing video. Kessel LED aquarium lights offer a specialized spectrum of light, which is driven by Kessel logic. 
Kessel logic maintains a similar wavelength combination across the different colors in the tuna blue range. Each color incorporates the spectra that are best suited for coral growth. The majority of these fall approximately in the 380 to 470 nanometer range. So, there's no need to worry about balancing the wavelength when choosing colors. From actinic blue to sky blue and everything in between, Kessel logic ensures that every spectrum is proven to promote coral health and color. Additionally, the spectrum is independent from intensity. With Kessel logic, you can adjust these settings to meet your specific preferences without compromising the other. As most of the spectra across the tuna blue range utilize the full power of whichever Kessel product you are using, something that no other light is capable of. If you want to learn more about Kessel's specialized spectrum, please check out our spectrum video. The unmatched performance of Kessel lights is driven by their advanced customized hardware. From the drivers to the circuit boards to the LED chips, the component parts are built in-house with the idea of a superior LED aquarium light in mind. The electronics of Kessel lights are designed to support Daikon's dense matrix LED array. The power supply is similar to those you'll find for high-end laptops, and the patented metallized binding process is more thermally efficient and allows for more LED chips to be packed into a tighter area. Unlike other LED brands, which assemble their lights from stock parts, Kessel designs its components in-house in order to achieve superior reliability, functionality, and efficiency. For more information about Kessel's customized electronics, watch our electronics video. Next, we'll talk about the Kessel Control Interface. This light is incredibly user-friendly. It consolidates all of its advanced technology down into just two dials, one for spectrum and one for intensity. Kessel lights only need these two dials because Kessel logic takes care of the rest. Instead of varying the light intensity of multiple different channels to find the desired color and intensity mix, you can select the perfect spectrum and color with one knob and then adjust the intensity with the other. The spectrum knob allows you to explore the tuna blue range from actinic blue to sky blue and everything in between. And as we mentioned in the previous section, these two controls function independently, so you can make changes to one without compromising the other. The control interface has two external control ports, an input and an output, which you can use to link two or more Kessel lights together for more expansive coverage. When daisy chained in a series, the first light acts as the master unit, because once you plug a cable into the input jack, the manual controls for that particular fixture stop working. So, any adjustments made to the first light in the series will be made to all subsequent linked units as well. They are also compatible with Kessel or third-party external controllers, which also connect to the input jack. You can use these to set custom color and intensity settings, as well as set timed light schedules. Once an external controller is plugged into a Kessel light, the controller now becomes the master unit. The A80 Tuna Blue is also compatible with additional accessories for greater flexibility when using the light. The Mini Gooseneck is a versatile mounting system that allows you to customize the positioning of your A80 Tuna Blue. The 10-inch arm attaches securely to the top of a tank without a canopy. It can also be configured to mount the A80 Tuna Blue on acrylic or Euro brace tanks. The screw and corresponding thread length for the Mini Gooseneck is M10 by 10 mm with a pitch of 1.5. The A-Series Spectral Controller allows you to customize color and intensity settings, utilize acclimation mode, and create unique dawn and dusk effects by altering light intensity and color throughout different time points. For a more in-depth look at the features of the A-Series Spectral Controller, please refer to the Spectral Controller video. There are six different accessory cables that can be used to connect the A80 Tuna Blue with other lights or devices. Each of these cables have at least one 3.5 mm jack with the tip ring sleeve configuration. The contact point for intensity is the tip, the contact point for color is the ring, and the sleeve acts as ground. The control cables, each six feet long, connect the A80 Tuna Blue to third party controllers. In each of these cables, the red wire corresponds to color the black wire corresponds to intensity, and the green and white wires are both ground.
The control cable type 1 is compatible with Neptune Apex and other RJ45 units. And the control cable type 2 is compatible with breakout boxes among other devices. The control extension cable, also 6 feet long, is an extender cable for either between lights or between controller and light. Finally, there are three link cables, which connect the A80 Tuna Blue to another 0 to 10 volt light or controller. This cable comes in three varieties. The unit link cable, which is 6 feet long, the extended unit link cable, which is 20 feet long, and the 90 degree unit link cable, which is 10 feet long and features a detachable right angle input plug. The 90 degree unit link cable is the recommended cable for this light as its profile is the most conducive to A80 aquarium setups. Now we'll go over basic maintenance for the A80 Tuna Blue, as keeping your light clean helps avoid issues down the road. One of the most important things you can do in this regard is to keep your light clean. Before starting any cleaning procedure, remember to turn off the light. Make sure the top of the light is cleaned regularly, paying particular attention to the areas around the control knobs and external control ports. If the control ports are not being used, make sure they are cleaned often or covered using the provided plastic plugs. Another element to clean on a regular basis is the lens. Remove any dust or watermarks by using a cotton swab and isopropyl alcohol or a wet cloth. Be careful not to get any water inside the light and let the lens dry completely before using it again. Keeping the lens clean will help keep the light output at optimal levels. These cleaning procedures should be practiced at least once every six months, but more frequent cleaning may be necessary depending on the environment the light is in. If the A80 Tuna Blue is not performing as expected, there is a recommended troubleshooting procedure which you can use to help diagnose the issue. The very first thing to do is to make sure all power and control cables are plugged in properly and securely. If the A80 Tuna Blue is in a chain or connected to a controller, and it flickers, turns on or off when it is not supposed to, or experiences incorrect shifts in color or intensity, you can diagnose the issue in the following way. First, unplug all control cables and proceed to test the functionality of the light. If everything works as it is supposed to at this point, the next step is to plug everything back in, making sure that any control cables are plugged into the correct input or output ports and that they are plugged in all the way. If the light continues to experience symptoms after taking these steps, then the reason may lie with one of the following four areas. The external control port on the light, the port on the controller, the controller settings, or the cable. You can substitute each of these parts individually and test the light to determine the cause. If you are unable to do this, please contact your local Kessel distributor for further assistance. The A80 Tuna Blue will shut down or flicker in some instances as a safety measure in order to protect the array, LED chips, and electronics from being damaged. Shutdown or flicker is not indicative of one specific issue. This could be provoked by a host of unique factors such as power surges, moisture, extreme temperatures, physical damage, or stray voltage from power strips and timers, which may result in a voltage leak to the light. Any of these situations could lead the light to shut down as a safety measure. If you experience these symptoms, the first thing you should do is to make sure that your light has been properly cleaned. If this hasn't been done in a while, make sure that you are cleaning your light on a regular basis. Do not unplug and plug the light back in repeatedly if an issue has not been addressed or resolved, as this may cause permanent damage to the light. At this point, if the A80 Tuna Blue still flickers or won't power on, Contact your local Kessel distributor for assistance. Thank you for watching this video about the A80 Tuna Blue. There are links to our website, social media pages, and more Kessel videos in the description. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and set up your notifications so that you get an alert every time we publish a new video. We're always in the process of shooting new content, so be sure to let us know in the comments section what different products or feature videos you'd like to see in the future. See you next time.